All right, I'm going to show you something. When it comes to voting and electing, the scriptures make it clear that if you're going to vote somebody in to rule over you, you better make sure it's somebody from the Most High. Somebody He chooses, not somebody you choose, okay? And it's got to be a king, not a queen. So, yeah. As it says here in Deuteronomy 17, verses 14 and 15. Let's take a closer look at these passages right here. This is concerning election and duties of kings. Deuteronomy 17, 14 and 15 read, When you enter the land which the Most High, your overseer, gives you, and you possess it and live in it, and you say, I will set a king over me like all the nations who are around me, which is what most Christians do, most believers do. They want to participate in the voting. Okay, so I got to have me a leader because all the nations have themselves a leader. Right? Whatever you see, you want to do. Verse 15 says, Okay, if that's the case, you shall surely set a king over you whom the Almighty, your overseer, chooses. Okay? Not who they give you to choose. Not who you want it to be. Whoever the Creator approves because He knows best. And it's got to be somebody from among your countrymen that you will set as king over you. You will not be qualified to put a foreigner over you who is not your countrymen. Or some other verses say, like the King James Bible, which is getting worse by the minute. But it still tells you right here in the King James Version that if you're going to choose a king, it's got to be somebody that is from your kin your own people right believers right it's got to be as it says here a king who is from among your brethren you are not to set a king over you that is a stranger who is not your brother you see that that's from the King James Version so, with all these elections coming to a close, all these uproars by the heathens regarding the election, the scriptures makes it, makes it clear that we aren't to set a stranger over us. No, you cannot vote in a Mason, Illuminati, Satanic, New World Order, heathen over you he's got to be a believer a brother in other words and he's got to be a king it can't be a queen okay but what else can you expect from satan incorporate so yeah i just wanted to share that because there are a lot of christians out there saying oh uh god wants us to vote they're just ignorant they don't know anything about scripture what do christians know about scripture nothing most believers don't know anything they want to vote wicked rulers over themselves. So you don't know what implication that has, you know, down down the road. You know, basically you're giving your rights over to a devil to rule over you. So, you know, there are a lot of witnesses, demons everywhere, angels watching this. So if they say, okay, this man voted, this woman voted for this devil that's in office... So if that nation goes to hell in a handbasket in the next couple of years, guess what? You're at their mercy. The Creator allows it. He says, okay, you voted. That's what you chose. Okay, if you did it in ignorance, maybe you get excused. But if you're doing it willingly and you refuse to look at the Scriptures, what it has to say regarding this, then that's your fault, okay? Because that's what these devils need. They need your votes because if they get your votes, you're approving them to rule over you, okay? So you, you are making a soul tie by doing that. So they could say, okay, well, you know, I'm going to rule over you for this amount of years. You voted for me. You see? It has an impact in the spiritual realm. That's why they're going through all this mess. They're bothering with all these elections and all these conferences because they know if, if you give them your vote, they rule over you. There are rules, cosmic rules, you know, even on earth, earthly rules. So by doing this... You're only setting yourself up for the judgments that fall on these heathen nations. They're going to fall on you. They're going to take you down 
as well if you follow along in their folly. So don't vote. That's why it says here clearly that if you're going to vote anybody, has got to be a believer. You can't vote for a Gentile. I know most people like to say, oh, Romans 13, you got to be subject to authorities. Yeah, you, there's two kingdoms. You got to be subject, okay, to the Creator's kingdom first and foremost. Of course, Satan has his kingdom, right? So he has his rule. So there's two kingdoms here playing a part. Most of the kingdoms here on earth are wicked, okay? The Creator allows it, fine. And yes, you are to listen to them to a certain extent, but he doesn't want to go in along with everything they say or do. There's a limit, okay? Yes, you could obey like domestic laws, but when it comes to breaking the laws of the Creator and all that, no, absolutely not. You got to stand your ground when it comes to that, okay? So that's when you draw the line. But most Christians can't see the line drawn in the ground. So, you know, most of them are, I don't know, I hate to say it, but most of them are idiots. They are idiots. And what does a Christian, what does the word Christian mean? An idiot, right? Go figure. Speaking curses over themselves, putting labels over themselves that they don't even know what it means. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you because... I'm sick and tired of Christians arguing the facts. Christians that don't even know nothing about Scripture. They're trying to defend their case just because they have a bad interpretation of Romans 13 and whatnot. You know? It's an oxymoron. Yes, we are in captivity to these devils. But the Creator expects us to hold up His Torah regardless, you know? You're not going to be going along with everything these satanic kingdoms say and do, you know, and then expect the creator to give you a, you know, give you a hand about an applause and he's going to deliver you and all of that. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Okay. You got to draw the line. You can't go along with everything they say and do. You're, yeah, you're, you're supposed to obey them to a certain extent. Like I said, domestic laws and all that. But... Not laws that they enforce over the laws of the Creator. And they're doing that, but they're doing it sneakingly. And they could do that, you know. They're allowed to do that. If they could trick you, then hey, it's fair game. But the thing is, you got to see through that, you know. And the quicker way to get up under them is to keep the Torah, keep the commandments. Okay? So you're tired of being ruled by these heathens? Start keeping the Torah. And you'll watch the Creator go to work on them, okay? But, of course... They got to keep you under their subjection so they don't, you know, fall under you. But anyways, that's all I wanted to share in this video. So I hope it enlightens those that listen to it and read these verses here, okay? And that's all for this video. So it's always not in beloved. Continue in the faith. Lift each other up in prayer. All glory and praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, until next time. Shalom.